because sometimes I meet some artists like me, 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 and like, no, not only you, yeah. just this big world we need to take care of. Hello, my name is Project Nada. I'm on the Art Do Show. This artist is only 20 years old and she's already traveled the world with her art. Now she's starting her own art academy. Give a warm welcome to Nada. Welcome Hello. to the Art Show. Thank you. <laughs> First, I gotta ask you, Nada? Well, how did that happen? It was uh, because when I was starting this art thing, um, I need a name. And when I was painting my street art in the streets, I couldn't just write my normal name. And I was thinking Nada means nothing. Yeah. And everybody starts from nothing. And I mm. haven't did anything yet, so that was yeah. it. Yeah. You set up your own studio where you have 10 different artists coming in and working. Yeah. And you've arranged all this stuff. Yeah. Why, why do you do all this? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because um, in my town we have one art school. But it's not like an art school like that. It's like a night classes you can take. And I think this town maybe needs some more art yeah. thing going on in the community. And we're talking about Aalborg in yeah, Denmark. In Denmark, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then I was also doing the street art thing. And I was going to this only art school in my town. Yes. And there was nothing with street art to do inside of there. But it's a really good art school. Um, <laughs> Um, but I think, okay, if there is not something like that, I need to create it. And then I was going to my, my town and mm. ask for help. Yeah. yeah. And then we did it. Yeah. yeah. Have you had anyone that sort of helped you along the way or did you figure it out all um, by yourself? There was a, a man called Ole who was like the boss um, of the... I, I don't know how to say it, the town uh, community. Oh, the, yeah. the, like the uh, communal uh, government? Yeah, like okay. that. Yeah. And we talked a lot and he was like, what do you want? And I was trying to tell him all about it. And then we like get up with this idea together. And then he said, try it out. I was like, how should I do it? And he was like, you find out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find out. And then I just tried. Yeah, and then I met a girl also Yeah, when I was doing my street art thing and starting up the studio. Um, and she was like, have not tried street art before, but she was coming to this event and just painting with all the good guys from my town. It's like, who's that girl? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just like connecting. Yeah. And then we're uh, painting one piece together on the bridge in my town. And then we're just like, okay, we're making a team. And now I've been together with her for two years. Yeah. Not in a relationship, but as yeah. a partner. <laughs> yeah. In a crew. In yeah. a crew, yeah. 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 And uh, we have been traveling around and painting together since. And that's Project Nada. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. How is it to be a girl in that sort of environment? Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, it's not that bad. Okay. I think you just need to, if you're traveling, maybe if you're traveling in another country when it's not that safe, you need to make sure that you have somebody to call, you know somebody in the area. Also, I'm small, very small and I'm blonde and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not that dangerous to look at. Yeah. So you need to yeah, make sure that you're doing it the right place and you yeah. got the permissions and stuff like that. Yeah. But of course, there's a lot of problems when you start doing the sweet other thing if you don't know the rules. But I think that's for everyone will have that yeah. problems. Yeah. Yeah. And what are the rules? Oh. <laughs> But the, it's a very different to be a painter in Denmark and be a painter in Sri Lanka on the US. There is a little bit different. But um, maybe that um, one of the rules here in yeah. my town is if you paint over somebody, you need to do it better. Uh, but if it's a training wall or something, you can just paint there. But some walls you need to say, okay, I can do better than that. I have always, when I was traveling in other countries, I always got permission. Because yeah. um, I need that when I'm so small and I'm painting in daylight. It's like yeah. when we were painting in Miami, I think in half an hour, the first half an hour, there were three cars coming. Like, did you get permission? <laughs> did you get oh, permission? Oh, really? Um, you traveled a lot with your art. Yeah. What is the most exciting places or the most exciting experiences that oh, you had? I have so many. I can say two of them. Yeah. Um, the first one was in the U.S. in San Francisco. 
and there was getting some problems on the street when I, where I was painting. I was like, okay, I need to get away or something right now. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this um, a homeless kid. He was not that old, I think 21 or something. Oh, okay. And then um, he was into these problems and then we just uh, talked together and we were having very serious talk. He just ran away with me. Um, from the problems. Okay. It's a long story, that's why yeah, I just yeah, say the problems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was trying to, you know, like live with him the whole day. I just stopped the piece. I never do that. I never just run from my piece when it's not done, but yeah. I did that. Yeah. And I was just going around and tried to be homeless in some oh, wow. in one day. Yeah. And then in the night, I think three o'clock, I couldn't hold it anymore and I was going to sleep. And then the next day I was waking up, he was sleeping outside of the you know, the house I was living yeah. in. And then he was going up to me and protect me when I was painting the last part of the piece. We were actually getting him a job from some oh. of the other street art guys, giving him a job uh, one hour away from San Francisco. And another one was in Greece, where I was traveling with my painting partner, Ida. And we were going down to a refugee camp um, called Softex. And we were staying there for a, a little bit more than two weeks. And we were just trying to get to know some of the refugees mm. and we actually saw some very big talents inside of mm. the camp. Some young men and boys were really good to draw and some of the girls also. And then we were trying to make uh, this uh, workshop telling their story and how is it to go from your hometown with your house and your car to this crazy camp where there is nothing. Yeah. And then we were just trying to make this um, piece together. And then we make a big wall inside of the refugee camp when we get permission from the government yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And now you have to tell us that leads right into the art academy. That is that you're going to start yeah. this little school hub for teaching academy. Yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, it's um, now we have the art studio right inside. You have just been inside of the studio. Yes. Um, and we are going to develop the studio now. We have about 10 young artists. And there are around 17 to 25. And then we have some young people coming and learning to paint sometimes. Mm. We just do that for free. Um, and now we have doing that for two years, the studio now. So now we need to think, okay, what can we do now? We can maybe move into a bigger place. We can start up daily workshops and stuff like that, classes and some of the art techniques we can do. Mm. Um, and we can make more of these events we are doing, yeah. like the big exhibition we are trying to make right now. <laughs> yeah, so stuff like that. You're putting on a lot of shows and events. Yeah. Why, why do you do so much for other people? Even when you're telling the stories, your yeah. highlights of going overseas, it's always when you met other people people and yeah. done something for the people I think it's because that's one of the reasons why I'm doing my art mm. it's because I want to do something mm. not just for myself I'm being happy just making my art and telling my stories and express myself mm. is very important for me but to maybe help I don't know to yeah. do something to other people is very important and it's very healthy for you because sometimes I meet some artists like me 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 and like no, not only you, yeah. there's this big world we need to take care of. Yeah. And with your artwork, they're very vibrant, they're colourful, a yeah. lot of them. Um, is there any particular message that you are sort of... Mm, yeah, there's always a message. Yeah. Sometimes it's also only for myself. People can't see it, like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I know! <laughs> um, but it's, sometimes I really try to get a message out of my paintings. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe about the community or society, but sometimes it's like a self-portrait when I go inside of myself and see how I am, how I am doing, do I know myself, uh, what do I feel right now, and maybe I'm trying to paint some power, you know, you say a lot of colors and energy, mm. I'm just trying to, yeah, paint powers, it's trying, yeah. it sounds a little bit weird maybe, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I'm sad, it makes me happy just to go out and paint the biggest wall ever yeah. <laughs> with a lot of power inside of that and just uh, yeah. like I paint a lot of tigers, maybe a big tiger, 20 meters and then I'm happy again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for, for younger girls that want to go out and paint, how to go about it and what they should think about when they go out and paint? Um, maybe you should see if your town got a skate park, something where there is graffiti 
and then they should try go there and normally I meet a lot of the guys who was painting from my town when I was painting there mm -hmm. in the summer days and they was like hey you need uh, you need this you can learn from this you can do like this and I got a lot of tips because of that mm -hmm. and if you're all starting out maybe you should just just try to take something at home and just try to how did this work at all yeah if you've never tried before but just uh, relax yeah be confident just go out and try you're not good in the start nobody is good you should see my piece in the in the start mm -hmm. it was really bad if i have students who is having a workshop with me yeah they said i can't do this i'm too bad to making graffiti i say come with me and I'll, then show you something. I'll show you something <laughs> and i show one of my first pieces to like okay that's very ugly yeah that's what i say you just need to practice <laughs> so, so one of your first pieces are still out there on the yeah, wall somewhere but it's really bad <laughs> So, so you can do that, you know, you need to know that you can be the best, but you just need to practice like everyone yeah. else in, like football. You're not good in the start, but you mm. just have to keep on going. Yeah. What is it that makes a great artist? It's, um, and that's in everything, music, art, video, everything, that you have uh, your soul with you. You have like this little voice of fire mm. that's with you in your artwork. Mm. You're not just painting of course you're painting some job sometimes but you're trying to have yourself in it you're trying to have you have something on your heart you need to express because mm. it's like brrr, inside and you need to get it out <laughs> i think that's the most important yeah. and then i'm like i always say to people when i'm taking new people into the art studio actually it's nice when people are good to painting but that's not the most important part the most important part is they have the the soul the, soul and the, the fire because mm. everybody can learn to paint you said that you feel like almost <laughs> your life is running away from you. You have to stay busy because you have so many things you want to accomplish. Yeah. <laughs> what is your What is your big, big vision for yourself? I think that, um, okay, I have a, yeah, it's like feeling free yeah. all the time. All the time. All the time. Because a lot of things in your daily day make you feel trapped and not yourself and... And the feeling I have when I'm painting or mm. do something I really fight it for, like getting the new studio, like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> the, the feeling of freedom, I want to have more of that. Yeah. And of course, I, need, I want to open a big academy and I want to do that and that. But the most important is just to feel free and feel, uh, feel it like you have done something. Yeah. yeah. The thing with the studio right now is that some people who are maybe going to school and, and was not fitting in, side of the system yeah. are going here right now and they're feeling like for the first time they are free and they're like fitting inside of yeah. just being themselves yeah maybe a school for for that type and yeah. then i can just take the art with me in that school so you're opening your academy yeah and you have another thing a big thing too this year yeah you're going on a travel yeah i'm going on a travel where are you going to i'm going on uh, three travels three travels <laughs> There you go. I'm going to Greece again. The refugee game uh, emailed me and we are going back to paint. Oh, wow. So we're going back, me and Ida are going back to Greece. And then we're going uh, to Paris to paint one piece. Yeah. And then we're going to um, India when we have uh, been invited to a big uh, Asian culture festival. Yeah. Actually, it's the biggest non-profit Asian culture festival. And it's called Sharon. It seems like you mastered this whole social media channel. Yeah. How how did you how do you what's the tricks with the social media? How did you grow it, and it, how does it benefit you, or if it does at all? It's like uh, the social media is a good thing and also a bad thing. <laughs> it's like the good thing about it, you can connect with people all over the world, mm -hmm. not just my little town, but mm -hmm. from all over. Yeah. Um, and I just start to make a art site you can say it's not my personal profile there's a lot of art on my personal profile also <laughs> but it's not that and then i just started uh, putting pictures up I'm, I'm sketching i'm making this project stuff like that and then people maybe write to me yeah you know i was um, putting a sketch up some days ago and then a girl asked me okay can i buy this sketch and it's like okay yeah <laughs> so i just get jobs from that yeah and i have jobs like like some months I, I, yeah, yeah, you have a backlog of jobs, yeah, and that's I, all come through social media. Yeah, but yeah. put up your stuff. Put up the Remember stuff. Remember to put up your stuff. Yeah. Even if it's just sketches too. Yeah, put up. 
and uh, don't be afraid to show. Thank, Thank you, you so much for showing up on such short notice. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure to yeah. uh, see your studio and meet you and hear Thank about you. your plans and everything. Thank you. And for everybody, uh, that, for everybody that's watching, remember, be different, be you. Until next time. Great. Thank Great. you. <laughs> just talking so much. Blah, blah, blah. You, you, you could hear my English sometimes was really bad. I just try my No, best. no, no.